Welcome to Christina Chitwood Performance. I'm Christina. I'm going to take you through the fishtail braid. This is an awesome braid for summer, but it's also great for any time of the year. It's typically best to use second or third day hair because it's going to grip a little bit better for the braid, but you can do it if it's freshly washed as well. So you know, brush your hair back. I'm going to show you how to do a fishtail braid on the side but you can do it anywhere you'd like. So just smoothing the hair here. I like to tuck it behind the ear. Pull it up. All right, so I'm going to use a small little elastic hair tie. Okay, this one's black, but you can get some clear ones. And those are really good because then you don't even see the hair tie. All right, now I'm going to pull this into two sections. So there's two halves. Then you're going to take a small little part of your hair on one half, pull it over to the other side. Then you're going to repeat this on the half that you haven't used yet. So taking a section, pull it across, and pull. Then repeat, so small section, draw it across, and pull. Small section, draw it across, and pull. So we're doing this just over and over. Now you don't have to worry about the size of each section. It's actually better if they aren't the same size every time because it makes it a little bit messier, which can make a lot better fishtail braid. Much more fun. And as you notice, I brushed my hair at the beginning to make it nice and smooth, but once I got started, I really tend to not brush it again unless it gets really tangly. And this is a great braid to use when you've just gotten out of the ocean or if you've just been swimming and you took a shower so your hair is still wet. It's not going to be as smooth of a braid, but it is a fun way to make wet hair look more interesting. Okay, now I'm going to show you the full fishtail braid, but you could tie, put a hair tie right here and then just let all that hair flow. Now, that's one way. Then we're just gonna keep going. As the hair gets thinner near the ends, you're going to take a little bit smaller sections so that it's still as thick of a braid as possible. It's that same technique. Little section, pull across, and draw. Little section, draw, pull. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is take another little small hair tie, I'm going to tie off the end of the braid. Okay, brush it. And then what I like to do is take a straightener and just curl slightly the end of the braid. So it's just those little ends that are sticking out at the bottom. Just finishes it off nicely and it can make it look a little bit dressier. So it just looks like that. And you could even curl it a little bit more if you wanted to, but you really don't have to. It's just up to your preference. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So it goes all the way down. It's nice and, and fun. You can get those bangs and you can do any different thing if you have a side bang or no bangs. This is what it looks like from the back. So there you go. And the other tip that you can use is just making it a little bit wider. So just pulling the hair apart makes it a little bit messier, 
but it can really make it fun. Okay, so just pulling each part out just a little bit and um, you can really just do it as messy as you want. As you can see, it's getting a little wider, fun. Put some spray on it if you want. Have fun with it. Join me here at Christina Chitwood Performance for more tips and tricks.